Hi folks, I'm back with a update on the uh, new Uma Digi 5150 milliamp hour battery phone. I'm just going to call it the 5150. I can remember that pretty easy. It was a Van Halen album, one of my favorites. I love Van Halen. Uh, and uh, it's great. Uh, so we're going to talk about two things, you know, number one, like it says in the title, does this phone, in case you didn't listen to the entire video and watch it yesterday, the unboxing, I'm going to get this out of the way first. I've asked this question a lot. Uh, and uh, it was, uh, does it have true expandable storage? I mean, it can handle a 256 gig no. micro SD card. Super. I have one. I spent $32 on the damn thing, you know, including taxes, etc. Uh, yeah. I plugged that. Uh, card in and I'll tell you the results after this well, suffice to say you can relax uh, and then number two of course is I'm going to show you some screenshots I've added some different wallpapers this thing has a pretty damn good display folks it's a 2340 by 1080p 409 pixels per inch um, we'll get to that Right after the intro, let's do that now. All right, and in the second and final segment here, I want to answer a few questions. Probably one you'd like to know. It, this phone only comes with 64 gig on it. Now, if you're like me, that's too little, too late if you can't expand it. And I don't want that portable uh, deal like you get with uh, the Samsung. And I was getting with the Huawei, which is up for sale. One of the reasons I just dumped them. Well, I didn't. I'm dumping the Huawei. I'll, I'll keep the A51. I mean, it's still damn. You know, with a display, you can't beat it. It's so crisp, so sharp. I can only marvel at what the uh, the big guns, the S20s have. You know, the real, like the Super Ammo. And by the way, Super Ammo is not a thing. It's a brand. AMOLED or OLED is what you're getting, you know, organic uh, light emitting diode display, which means they can turn off whatever we're not using. That's why the blacks look super black and why the bright colors look super bright. So, and of course the answer is first things first I, oh, I plugged in the sim card and bam i was hooked to at and so that's good and second i turned the phone off stuck the micro sd card in it 256 i mean that's overkill for this little phone if i ever get rid of it I'll stick a 64 in it that I have laying around from SanDisk. It's just dandy. Most people go, whoa, that's funny. And then they'll have 64 for all their apps and games. And This phone is, you know, think in the box, 300 and below. This phone is for people who just need a damn good phone. Takes a few pictures, takes video. If you're going to give this to your kids 
or your mom and dad and they've never owned a smartphone or your grandparents, they don't care about, well, it doesn't shoot a 4K. They wouldn't know 4K if it kicked them in the balls. Both of them. And uh, so I put the, you know, micro SD card in, turn the thing on, and I said, oh, no, I micro SD card. Uh, do you want to format this as internal shared storage? Bingo. Hello, Samsung. Get your heads out of your ass. There's no reason you shouldn't be able to do this. Okay. So that's out of the way if you ever had a question about that, at least on this phone. Bam, I now have like a ridiculous amount of storage. Uh, so, yay. So next item up, you know, people, well, can you game on it? Well, we're not gonna do a gaming review today, but I am gonna show you one race in Asphalt 9 Legends I just installed it and started playing it um, and recorded the screen and it plays pretty damn well for a, a, a P35 MediaTek and it, the graphics are, and the blind man said let's grab the script, it's a IMG Power VR GE83. 20 GPU. I don't know who makes the IMG VR. No power VR. Don't care. As long as it works. It, it you know, it's part of the SOC, of course, but uh, this thing gets a super fantastic battery life and it's pretty much on par with a, at least, it plays games at least as well is the Exynos processor on the uh, Galaxy A51. <laughs> Don't expect unbelievable frame rates and all that. This is not a gaming phone. It, you know, you just want to go around and run shit over and have a fun time and win every damn race, even when you're as bad as I am. Here comes that video right now. Uh huh. Oh boy. Uh huh. Here. Getting ready to roll. after that stellar gaming performance by me. But I'd like to remind you that is a very graphics intense game. It looked really good on me. And I used a C screen recorder to get that for you. And uh, oh, that's all right. Didn't have to do any real editing on that. You know, cutting off portions because I was already at the play screen and off we went and as usual i like that game because i win this is not it was not a gaming review so in the rest of this one as i talk you're going to see some of the wallpapers i downloaded i use a site called setwall i believe it is dot com um, and uh 
these are wallpapers I put on the phone that I think are a lot better than the stock ones it comes with. You know, they give you these ones with the, you know, pretty stuff. I want real photos, not graphics. Uh, and uh, I'm going to show you three of them. There's, you know, they keep coming up here. And probably said no to that side. I don't know. I'll put them somewhere. This entire video will have been edited in PowerDirector Pro on this phone, which is the only Digi Power that we're shooting on. So, all that being said, thanks for watching the whole thing. I'm trying to keep it short. And uh, check back later. I, uh, here, we're going to give this phone a rest for a day or two. I'm now continuing to play with it because it's going to be my daily driver for a while. Not that I drive anywhere. But, yeah, it takes good photos. It doesn't have night moves and wide angles and stuff here. Remember, give this to your grandma, grandpa, uh, mom, dad. Somebody's never had a smartphone, or if you want one, I would get like a 128 gig uh, expandable storage. And then when you include the 64, you'll have 128 gig where all your apps and games go and the original 64 tuba. Uh -huh. Well, it's going to download all your updates there, etc. So far, Umidigi has hit a home run with this at 139. 99. This is a definite buy it now. Just don't look at my mouth. The battery is killing it. I mean, killing it for me. So, uh, and now I'm going to go back to bed and get some more rest. My feet are still swollen up. We'll catch you in the next one, folks. And uh, thanks for watching the whole damn thing. Give us a Thumbs up, like the video. If you do decide to buy one of these phones, there's a link in the description below. If you think we're doing a good job, maybe if you scroll down further, you can give us a quick donation. Hey, we'll take a buck. Yeah, it'll pop up in our PayPal account. And, yay. Over in I forgot to give a shout out the other day. It's been like three days. Uh, C. Butler gave me enough to buy this phone where he took care of the, you know, basically cost me a hundred bucks. So. You make sure to check out C. Butler. Just, he's linked at the bottom of the description will go Hefe and Mike Reed and quite a few others who've helped out here over the uh, you know, last year, year and a half. That's all I got. We'll add this in and on the Omidigi Power. It does everything I wanted it to. Sorry, Simpson. Bye, for now.